art school in the southern part of our region is welcoming a visiting artist who's creating something really vibrant and colorful, but it's going to be destroyed at the end of the week. NBC5's John Hawks tells us why. Here at the River Gallery School of Art in Brattleboro, they're welcoming a visiting Tibetan monk to create a sand mandala. Lama Tenzin making a sand mandala of compassion. According to the monk, the sacred art form symbolizes love, compassion, generosity, wisdom, and appreciation, and serves as a testament to the beauty and interconnectedness of all beings. It details of each and every symbols and colors and designs of this art, it talks about, it answers all the question, what's compassion? Who needs compassion? If I have compassion, what it will help me to make happier. He's been making sand mandalas for over 40 years after learning how to make them in his monastery. And he uses metal funnels and other small tools in his hands to craft the pieces of art. It's not a sand from the beach. It's a white marble dust or white lime dust. After moving to America and teaching in schools, Tenzin says that he wants to infuse more emotion into education. The education is to make yourself happier, not richer. My main education is to educate your heart, not educate your brain, to become a good, happy, and compassionate human being. This is the first time he's been to Brattleboro, and the River Gallery School of Art is excited to have culturally diverse artists visit their school that has been around for almost 50 years. We have over um, 25 uh, teaching artists that work not only in schools, but also um, on location at our, uh, our actual brick and mortar right downtown on Main Street, um, as well as out in the community with people. The school is hosting the artists all week, and the main closing ceremony is on Friday, where visitors will have a chance to help sweep away the art. We'll put it in a vase and we'll walk um, through town, down Elliott Street and Main Street to the Whetstone Brook, where, uh, again, with a um, blessing, the water or, or the sand will be offered back to the earth into the water. Even though the artwork won't last forever, Tenzin hopes that the message of compassion will live on in Brattleboro. It's not something to feel the table or feel the wall or feel the canvas, but it's what I can learn from it. The mandala will be on display all week. In Brattleboro, John Hawks, NBC5 News.